They will step between the lines and get ready to get to it. The Canadians will start with the rock. Women's team finished up group play one and one. They are still quarterfinal bound. Can the men remain unscathed? They want to start this offensive possession with Superman Johnson and the bearded king. The bearded king, he be stroking. Cash is in on his first two attempt. And that's a nice start for Canada. Posthumous left his feet. The bearded king was not in the mood for company. He protects the paint and earns himself a rest. So offense and defense from Big Gill. Alvarez will answer. He chunks the deuces, scores it past Superman. And we're all even just like that, 30 ticks into this game. I like the matchups across the court of Gunda Kuhn and Alvarez. That's a nice matchup. And look at the bigs. Batista and Posthumus. Meantime, two-piece combo, 4-2. Gundukun got it to go, and, and Alvarez he ain't trying to make no new friends out there. Hey, somebody tell him that Alex Johnson's a nice guy. No need to play rough. <laughs> oh, Gundukun. He gets it over to the Bearded King. The Bearded King wants another. Look at oh, Gundukun getting high to get the rebound. Alvarez caught in a bad spot. He's supposed to for the foul. So credit Dele Ogundukun. He contorts his way up for the shot attempt. Now he'll shoot one cleanly at the free throw stripe. He'll make it a 5-2 game. Old Canada. Alvarez to the baseline. He'll put it up. Batista, the beast. He drops it off, and Cordoza puts it in. Posthumous. He puts Alvarez on his back. Ogundoku, hey, he's cooking right now. It's two tools for him. It's 7 3. Don't look now. Batista, the former NBAer, staying active underneath. Posthumous. Hands it over. Ogundukun, he got the hot hand. Foul called on Blue. That one on Alvarez. Four, seven, Canada. Superman, he got super swatted. Costa using those long arms. Oh, Batista, that's what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. The unstoppable force won that time. Batista at six foot 10. And Posthumus, I think it's six foot 10 as well. He's some big boys. Superman, he was shooting on a different goal. Batista patiently waiting. That looks like a Nerf ball in his hand. Gets posthumous off, uh, off of his feet. But a couple of Goliaths out there. The lumberjack. Bisons. Batista. Too strong on the free throw. The bearded king. They, they gonna leave him open. I don't know why. Well, I know why now he missed it, but I don't think that's the best strategy. Ogundukun, absolutely no, I thought he had no chance. Ogundukun shaking his head, no, he ain't scared. He ain't scared. Take back to all the great Canadian players, from Michael Leifers and Nolan Brudel, and of course Michael Linklater. 
Steve Sirs of the world. Canada's produced some great 3x3 hoopers over the years. Oh, not to forget Willie Murdon, Sweet D. Willie. Oh, that's a grown man bucket. Wait, they didn't clear it. So it ain't a grown man bucket, it's nothing. Five Canada. Big Superman Johnson could not get away. And it completely disrupted that offensive possession for Canada. Uruguay coming out of the qualifying draw in case you're just joining us. One qualifying draw A. And win their first game of the day against Ecuador. Oh, he got some he got some skills. Cordoza over to Batista. Oh, Batista scoring it over posthumous. So seven to nine contest. Canada still in front. For some reason, Vince Chang is dancing over my shoulders. Somebody get this man some medicine. <laughs> He's distracting me from my job. Security, security, please. Here's the battle of the bigs. Batista getting tricky. He's got some brains to go with the brawn. But Canada have the lead. Alvarez pulls up. It goes missing. Vic, yeah, he's going to get whistled for that one. You can see it. Uh, knew that call was on the way. Shuffled his feet. So there's the turnover that Uruguay had hoped for. Alvarez with the jab step. He's got Big Gill on his hip, but Big ain't going nowhere. Stays tough and D's up at the rim. Loose ball goes to Batista. Here comes Cardoza. There went Cardoza. He's quicker than fast food. The young man is eating. Uh, Gill misses it. We got a one-point game now. Alvarez wants some. And Big was not going to give it to him easily. He will happily give up that foul instead of a bucket and put Alvarez on the line and force him to earn it the hard way. But look at Cardoza, man. Don't sweat the technique. He got skills. He's perfectly capable of taking the game over by himself. I've seen him do it. He does not knock the shot down. Now Batista. And post two months doing battle again. Batista, no. Post two months snags the rebound. Oh, Alex Johnson lost him with the behind the back. Post two is fouled. Postumas up to the line. Big fella show. I thought he was going to show some touch. It's too strong. Now Johnson quickly over. Ogundakun, who got us to the hot start. He's going to put it up to Postumas, and he's going to bury it. Foul on the baseline. But it ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. Ogunakun put it up and Post Humas put it down. Not 
Superman, no, nicks the iron. 5-15 in a one-point game. Here comes Batista spinning. Oh, abuse. He says the Bearded King is too small. Bearded King will get a good look. No two that time. He started the game with a two. He wants it back. Yeah, he's going to make it count that time. Charged him double. Ties things up with that 12 apiece. Alvarez defended by Ogundukun. Ogundukun sticking him well defensively, but Alvarez still stuck at two him. Pause. Johnson. Splash. 14-13. Superman defending Da Costa well. We got a foul off ball. That is the seventh on Uruguay. So that puts Dele Ogundukun up on the stripe, shooting not one, but two. Ogundukun will take his time here on the second attempt and will splash this one as well. Clean trip to the stripe as Canada will get a little bit more breathing room. Alvarez making his move on Ogundakun. Ogundakun, he's got the man on punishment. Ogundakun wants the cookie now. Ogundakun gets a clear look at the deuce. Apparently he didn't see it clearly. Team Blue will take over the rock now. Now it's the Hound versus the Mountain. That's for you Game of Thrones fans out there. <laughs> who's the Hound and who's the Mountain? Five fouls on Canada. Alvarez misfires from deep. Big kill! FaceTime. This ain't no video call. The third two of the game for the Bearded King. A big one that will put Canada up 18 to 13. As they set their sights on a 2 and 0 record. Both of these teams going to the quarterfinals. It's all about the number one seed. And this has been all about the Bearded King. He and Superman Johnson letting it loose from long range. And they splashing like a bird bath. They better respect his ability to shoot. Six points from long range in this one is significant. He has missed a couple, but the shots he's made have been difference makers for Team Canada. Here we go. Dime, no. Ooh. Cardoza gets called for the foul. Superman Johnson up to the charity strike. See Superman elevating, some contact on the way up. So Alex Johnson shoots and misses. But a six point lead, and got a hand up quickly there to deflect that one. A six point lead for Canada is a comfy one. So they aren't exactly threatened at the moment. This game's also not exactly in the bag at the moment. So can't get too comfortable. Superman, no. Ogundakun. Look at the activity from Ogundakun. Three thirty-three remaining. Canada on the brink. It's the bearded king. 
That was a heat check. Alvarez, turnaround, jumper, soft touch, gets it to go. So we got 316 left. Uruguay aren't quite out of it, but they feeling woozy right now. I can tell you right now, they got a five-point hole to climb out of against a Canadian team that is in sync like a boy band. And they don't look like they're, they're going to show any signs of letting up here. They need two points to put this thing away. And you better believe they, they smell blood in the water. Batista, he'll drop it off. Cardoso whips it. That one had too much heat on it. They throw it over to Coach Friend for Schiller for Team USA. He was trying to be incognito over there by the Christmas tree. Coach is ready to shoot it. As Postumas kicks it out. Superman, no, not that time. Alvarez has it. Alvarez wants a screen from Batista. That pass is broken up. Loose ball stays with Blue. Can they convert it to a score? They can. Quickly kicked out. Superman with the up fake. Slides to the left. He'll miss it. Foul White on Posthumus. He climbed Mount Batista. And now he'll have a seat. But if Uruguay can hit a two. I think it changes the complexion of this game. Alvarez right on cue. Didn't I tell you? That was an absolute comet. Superman, that was long. Two point contest. Here's Batista. He wants to see somebody move. Now, who would have, who would have thought that? I know Superman is. The only thing that can stop him is Kryptonite. But who knew Superman was strong enough to hold off Batista? That should have been a, a guaranteed bucket for Batista with the much smaller Superman Johnson defending him. Instead, it's a missed opportunity. Canada's lead down to two with 2.19 left. It ain't over until it's over. That's all I'm gonna say. It ain't over until it's over. Miscommunication. <laughs> FIBA 3X3 X managing director Alex Sanchez here at the T-Mobile District. He's the boss man checking out the action at a beautiful venue. America third edition. <laughs> 203 left in the contest. Minute 59, actually, in a foul, which is number seven on Canada. Two free throws. Upcoming. Batista. Can he get rid of the free throw woes? It's hard for the big, the big guys to get a feel for the ball. And I remind you, the FIBA 3x3 ball is the weight of a traditional men's ball in five on five, but it has the dimensions of the women's ball. So Batista misses them both. Kind of like he got the Shaq complex with that. Oh, Alvarez, that would have been a sick dish. Superman Johnson gets it to the Bearded King. The Bearded King, he'll miss it. Alvarez pokes that out. So right when it looked like Canada had, had him on the ropes. Looked like they were going to cruise to the win category. Uruguay has found a way to get back in it. Superman Johnson trying to turn the tide. Superman to the, no, he's not to the rescue again. 
The Costa instead will have it. The Costa puts it all up in Ogundakun's face. You're going to have to sign that. The Costa fight to the screen. Ogundakun, he will miss it. Posthumous gets the rebound. All even at 19 apiece. Alex Johnson, no. Rebound to Blue. Da Costa wants it. Da Costa, front rim, out of bounds. Whoa. Whoa. This was a five point lead for Canada. And again, it looked like they had it in the bag. But things aren't always what they seem, are they? Are they? Superman, can he come to the rescue? Oh, Superman Johnson will miss it. So each team is struggling putting the cookie in the cup. You can see that players are physically fatigued. It's the Costa. He wants a look from long range. Alvarez will pass up the two attempt. He's got Superman on his hip in a wide open lane. Superman all day long and he will miss it. Wide open opportunity, game point. Alvarez down to Batista, back out to Alvarez. Alvarez misses, Batista can't squeeze it. <laughs> oh man. The game that will never end continues. Uruguay all of a sudden in front after trailing 19 to 14. They've gone on a 6-0 run. Superman, oh, that's definitely a foul. Clever up fake from Superman. That's a veteran move. Superman Johnson getting him off of his feet. Cardoza goes for the bait. And now Superman can put this game to an end from the free throw line. He's going to get two cracks at it and possession for the Canadians. But these are critical free throws. Oh, the first one never had a chance. You just wonder if the pressure right now in a pool play game, it plays a factor. Johnson disappointed that he missed the first one. He does even the game up at 20 apiece. 25 seconds left, Canada with the ball. Down to Posthumus. Posthumus in the post office. He will tip it out. Superman Johnson leaves it short. Cardoza on the run. Next point wins. Cardoza with the quicks. This game has come to an end. Uruguay storm from behind. They ended on a 7-1 run and snatched the top spot from Pool B from the Canadians. A game that showed a lot of heart, a lot of grit. Uruguay, that, that's a win they can be proud of against Canada. Uruguay is not a team to be slept on all the way from the qualifying draw. 21-20, they get it done over Canada and again have the top spot.